Wilhelm Busch both wrote and drew these stories that great-grandpa knew. This is the tale of two bad boys, their antics no one else enjoys. They played some very horrid games. Max and Moritz are their names. little creatures had no use for school or teachers happy to live a life of crime for moral talks they had no time people worked quite hard to keep some chickens in the yard. This they did because hens lay eggs for breakfast every day. Moreover, every now and then, you can cook a cock or hen. And finally, those chicken feathers make good quilts to suit all weathers. No one needs to starve or freeze while we have feathered friends like these. Moritz trouble bent, the widow's yard was heaven sent. Ah, yes, we need four bits of bread. We also need four bits of thread. <laughs> the 
trap is set, the deed is done, the two retire to watch the fun. From her warm bed, the worthy widow hears the commotion down below. Swiftly she runs in fear and fright, only to meet this sorry sight. and Moritz of your sinning. Binion, quite distraught, her life's efforts brought to naught, as she stands beside the beer, shedding many a bitter tear, starts to wonder how she may, in some measure, save the day. Although they were too young to die, it still is possible to fry the tender bodies that remain, and with good food, relieve the pain. When she sees them lying there, plucked and naked, once so fair, so gay and lively, now so still, the widow's tears begin to spill on faithful Klaus, who stands nearby, watching his mistress grieve and cry. Meanwhile, the lovely cooking smells attract those naughty ne'er-do-wells. Max and Moritz, looking down, see the chickens, gold and brown, neatly trussed and nearly done, a prize awaiting to be won. decides to go into her cellar down below to help herself to sauerkraut, taking a lavish helping out, a nice addition to the meal she had prepared with pious zeal. Upon the roof, while no one's looking, something more sinister is cooking. Max, with foresight quite misguided, with rod and line has come provided. As 
one by one the birds arise, the dog begins to realize, and much too late sounds the alarm. <coughs> By now, the boys are far from harm. <laughs> Up comes the widow at the double. <laughs> now look out, for here comes trouble. <laughs> Creatures, you! Now take the retribution due! Wielding a heavy spoon, she beats the blameless dog as he retreats. Vain, he howls, he's innocent, whilst bearing others' punishment. In a safe, far away retreat, Max and Moritz lie replete. Stuffed with chicken, fit to bust, they sleep the sleep 